Okay, hello. This is Dan from the Lynn Toy Train Museum in Lynn. I got my new hat on. We're giving you a little look at what we're redoing the Lego City and the train layout up here. Alright, as I got my assistant here. Oops. And my assistant. He's a little fuzzy. There he is. So I gave my old hat to him, somewhere in the new hat. So we took the Lego City all off of the tables that we had, and we're putting it directly on the floor. So it's just a quick space. Uh, I didn't start up the train because we're building this mountain here, and I don't know if the train, if the track is connected. So today's project was uh, to create this, this, it goes under there. The train's going to go under there. There's a mountain. We got this road that goes up a couple of levels of mountain. It's supposed to be a, a ski resort or something. So that goes up there. You can't really tell. So that road will go down there. We had to build uh, some construction. So we got the track, the roads. Over there is the beach, the water, the um, roller coaster. So we have the luxury of space. One of the concerns about the Lynn Toy Train Museum is that most of the children in Lynn don't have an, a space in their home to do something like this. So, um, that's a primary concern because number one, model railroading and toy trains are a discretionary income activity, right? Most of the children in Lynn don't have discretionary income. Um, it's something that you need to use a lot, large portion of your space to set it up. Children and most children in Lynn. These are all just my opinions, but you can do the work to see whether I'm right or wrong. So anyway, you know, for people that don't have discretionary income, don't have excess living space, model railroading, toy trains, this type of stuff is kind of out of reach for them. So one of the visions, one component of the vision of the Lynn Toy Train Museum is to solve that problem one way or the other and maybe not to have a place where kids come to but to be able to go into a kid's space and give him something there are some trains that run up along the walls but most of the children in Lynn are renters so you'd have to get the cooperation of the landlords in order to give them a train on the wall or a train in the basement of their rental unit building whatever so anyway, there's a lot of problems, but we like the problems because the Lynn Toy Train Museum is going to solve the problems. We're going to bring creative solution to a very important problem. So have a good day, and we will check in as soon as we get this, this uh, situation cleaned up.